All right, everybody. Um, this is the Mega Nerd again, bringing you another Let's Play. I'm gonna be Let's Playing Snatcher this time, and uh, I hope you enjoy it because I've never played this game ever in my life. I've heard it's a fantastic game. It's one of the rare forgotten gems of the 16-bit era, or I should say the CD-ROM, often maligned CD-ROM, which admittedly mostly sucks, but this is one of the gems on the system. And from what I know about the game, it's a Hideo Kojima game, and it's uh, basically, um, what's the movie? Blade Runner meets Terminator. So without uh, further ado, let's get this underway. Now I'm going to say start sync here so I can sync the video, but don't worry about it. And start sync. Oh shit, I didn't configure my keys. Let's do that real quick. Up, down, left, right, start, A, B, C. I don't know what hotkeys do. And turbo will be V. Why not? Press the key to continue. Okay. All right. Now we're ready to go. Let's play this bitch. Start sync. Oh. Uh, I don't know what any of that means. I don't have a gun, so there's nothing to adjust. Let's do this! Oh shit, I'm lost. Story characters events in this game are entirely fictional. Well, no shit! It's a friggin' game! It's cyberpunk! Rolling surround sound space. What the hell is rolling sound space? fight against injustice and corruption every day? What? There are, what? That doesn't make any goddamn June sense. June 6th, 1996. A mysterious Our explosion blood. destroys the Chernotin research facility near Moscow. Lucifer Alpha, a powerful biological weapon under secret development there, is released into the yeah, atmosphere, creating a deadly biohazard. You think? Carried by the Troy Winds, Lucifer Alpha spreads throughout Eastern Europe and Eurasia, destroying 80% of the populace. Damn. Half of the world's people die. The greatest biohazard in history later becomes known simply as the catastrophe. But at this time, who could have possibly imagined that the ultimate biohazard wouldn't occur for another half century? Fifty years go, later, mankind faces its greatest crisis. The appearance of a mysterious android life form. Terminator! Its purpose and origin are unknown. Is it a new form of weapon? Or Holy perhaps shit, it is a Terminator. an invasion from some Jesus. other world? They appear during winter killing humans and infiltrating society by taking the place of their victims. Employing an artificial skin, they can sweat and even bleed. Part organic, part machine. They're almost impossible to distinguish from those they kill. As they steal their victims' bodies in order to take their place, these mysterious invaders become known as... Snatchers. They are Terminators. Jesus. Alright. So that was cool. Japan. How did I know this was going to take place in Japan? I think this game was originally released in like 89 on the MSX engine. Kojima was a big fan of that for some reason. Why he never ported Metal Gear 2, we'll never know.
was work. Everything okay? Hmm. Gillian, what is it? What's wrong? Jamie, I've become a junker. A junker? Gillian, but Gillian. why? Jamie, you know why. It's the only way we can regain our lost memories. Oh, no. Snatcher is the only word that keeps coming back every time we try to remember our past. I have to face them to find out why. Yes, but I can sense that there is something terrible hidden in our past. And if we remember it, it will destroy us. Jamie! I'm going now. Jamie! What? I can't hear you! Estimated age, 31. Three years ago, he and his wife, Jamie Seed, are taken into protective custody in the Siberian neutral zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. Both Gillian and Jamie suffer from severe amnesia, their memories of events prior to being picked up in Siberia, lost in a mysterious mental fog. Two years ago, after a vain attempt to rebuild their marriage, Jamie and Gillian separate. Following extensive special military training, Gillian is ordered to report to Neo Kobe City as a junker, effective today. Now I know this is an adventure game, so I'm going to play it as such. Hopefully I'm as entertaining as Spoonie when he plays it. I know I'm not going to be able to make fun of Burgess Meredith, though. Which kind of sucks. 